हेलो माय स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय टारगेट 100 परसेंटेज आफ्टर ए लॉन्ग गैप टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच ए लेसन मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट्स ऑफ करंट एंड मैग्नेटिजी एंड द न्यू टॉपिक इज बोर मैग्नेटन व्हाट इज बोर मैग्नेटन एक्चुअली व्हाट इज बोर मैग्नेटन बोर मैग्नेटन मीन्स वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव्स अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस इन द फास्ट ऑर्बिट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो आवर टॉपिक इज यू राइट द टॉपिक बोहोर मैग्नेटन बोहोर मैग्नेटन ओके इट इज बोहोर मैग्नेटन फर्स्ट वी शुड नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बोहोर मैग्नेटन बोहोर मैग्नेटन इज नथिंग इट इज द मैग्नेटिक डायपोल मूवमेंट ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन एसोसिएटेड विथ द इनर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम लेट अस डिस्कस वन थिंग सपोज दिस वन इज आटम दिस वन इज आटम इट इज द न्यूक्लियस एंड सपोज इलेक्ट्रॉन इज हियर एज यू नो दैट देर आर थ्री फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द आटम इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन एंड प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन आर प्रेजेंट हियर इलेक्ट्रॉन रिवॉल्स सपोज दिस इज इलेक्ट्रॉन मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एम and the velocity of electron is v okay and this suppose this one is radius and this is nucleus clear it is visible so follow this one and in this case what happens when you are taking the circular loop circular loop the electron moves in this direction and anti clockwise electron moves in एंटी क्लॉक वाइज फॉलो मी एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बट एट दिस सेम टाइम द मोशन ऑफ करंट इज क्लॉक वाइज द मोशन ऑफ करंट इज इट इज द मोशन ऑफ करेंट ओके मोशन ऑफ करेंट एंड द इज द मोशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो व्हेन इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव्स एंटी क्लॉक वाइज इज इक्वल टू करेंट मूव्स इन क्लॉक वाइज सो इन दैट केस व्हाट एपन्स सो इन दिस केस द अपर फेस इज साउथ पोल and it becomes behaves as a north pole okay then come to point most important is in this way an atom has a two poles so atom behave like a magnetic dipole okay as you know that a magnet has a two poles that's why an atom behave as a magnetic dipole in this way so then come to point electron is how much you know the mass of electron is 9.1 पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन टू माइनस थर्टी वन के जी सो इट इज नेचर क्लॉक वाइज ओके सो व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट डू मीन बाय बोर मैग्नेटन डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द रिवॉल्विंग इलेक्ट्रॉन इन सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट हाउ कैन यू फाइंड इट्स मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन देन कम टू पॉइंट आफ्टर डेफिनेशन फास्ट वन इज डेफिनेशन ओके देन मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन व्हाट इज द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन देर इज नो नीड टू रिमेम्बर फ्रॉम द बुक व्हाट आई एम राइटिंग इट इज वेरी इजी फॉर रिमेम्बरिंग सो कम टू पॉइंट पॉइंट इज लेट ई चार्ज ऑन एन इलेक्ट्रॉन चार्ज ऑन एन इलेक्ट्रॉन i flow of electric current electric current m mass of the electron mass of the electron v velocity of the electron you can say speed also velocity of the electron and r radius in which electron revolve in a circular orbit because it becomes a circular loop when atom electron moves an atom it behaves as circular loop so radius of orbit clear now what happens when electron moves in an atom these are the electrons are negative charge when electron moves so the current is produce so how much current produce 
so that is i is equal to q by t but you are taking in place of q e so it is e by t so first equation you can give then when electron revolves in circular orbit how much time taken by the electron so in complete rotation so t is can i erase due to insufficient place okay first to write this one otherwise you take the short screenshot then come to point now question is all of you write be quick so i is equal to e by t so time taken by the electron t is equal to suppose v is equal to s by t so t is equal to s by v that s is the distance distance is the circumference of the circle so circumference of the circle you are taking r so it is 2 pi r by v now using this one equation 1 becomes so i is equal to how much e by t so e by t is how much 2 pi r by v so e v by 2 pi r you can give this is equation 2 now understood then come to points so from the beginning i told you bohr magneton means magnetic dipole moments so here you can write m is equal to i into a okay in some books it has given mu l okay mu l so if what will happen another thing important thing arises when electron revolves in a circular loop on this orbit what happens this so it becomes mu l okay it becomes l l means angular momentum vector and it is the magnetic moment so you can write this one how much i is equal to how much you can write i suppose you are taking this i so you can write this i okay you write this is i and this is i so i is how much e v by 2 pi r into a area of the circular loop pi r square clear now i am erasing this much any problem you can ask sukant misra are you writing or not very good okay are we happy always ah so you are always in a rigid mode no 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 it is not good so what happen here pi pi r cancel so it is becomes it becomes e here by 2 so equation 3 now any problem first what do you calculated i is equal to e by t so after that t value and using this one is you got this one after that you have to cal calculate this one okay so magnetic dipole moment is this one but there are number of postulates of bohr's theory but one postulate now you will use that is l is equal to mvr okay so this is how much this is nh by 2 pi what is the meaning the angular momentum of an electron while revolving in a circular orbit it is equal to nh by 2 pi so how much it is so mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi or vr is equal to how much nh by 2 pi m can you write anybody any problem very good very good ha uh, this much okay so this one now what you will do using this one in equation 3 you will get the required value any problem very good okay so can i erase now okay take screenshot i am repeating the same so question is question is how much you got this one evr by m is equal to evr by 2 okay so e by 2 now vr is how much nh by 2 pi m clear what i did i just simplified e v r by 2 e by 2 wrote here then v r v r is this much you got from this postulates okay now it is n e h by 4 pi m n h so it is you can write this one 
and it becomes how much equation suppose what what you have given you give the equation as per your serial number but my serial number is 4 okay so n e h that is you can write it is m and in you can write the notation mu b the, this is known as bohr magneton very good this is known as n e h by 4 p m n is number of n is equal to 1 2 3 dot dot if 4 hydrogen atom what will do how can you calculate this one how can you calculate can i erase this one very good so question is what is the value of bohr magneton what is the value of bohr magneton you just put the value you just put the value of n for h for h n is equal to 1 and e is equal to you know for electron 10 to the minus 19 coulomb mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to the minus 31 kg and h Planck's constant 6.23 into 10 to the minus 34 joule into second okay after using this one what happens after using this one so m or mu b becomes suppose you will use this value here so that is 9.27 into 10 to our minus 24 as it is mu b means magnetic dipole moment so magnetic dipole moment m is equal to i into a so don't forget to write the units it is current ampere area meter square clearly understand any problem so now this is the process define bohr magneton how atom behave as a magnetic dipole derive its mathematical expression how it may be 1 plus 1 so 3 or 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 so such type of question will come okay bit by bit you have to write then another method here there is one point is given your question that is important take screenshot okay question is suppose what you observe from figure you observe from figure this side is upper face is south pole and lower face is north pole in this case electron moves in anti clockwise current is clockwise so it becomes mu l now question is you got uh, m is equal to e v r by 2 okay and you can write this one you can write this one is suppose l l is equal to how much sorry m v r and you are writing this one is mu l if you divided mu l by l mu l is how much e v r by 2 mu l means you can take this one then l is how much so l is how much m v r m v r now it is how much v r v r e by 2 m mass of electron this one okay and if you will ratio between this term this term okay is gyromagnetic ratio or gy gyromagnetic constant so what is the unit unit becomes it is coulomb per kg but if you we'll use the value e is equal to 2m e that is 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 okay into 2 into 9.1 into 10 to the minus 31 you will get 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 10 coulomb per kg this is another part of the question if question will come what is gyromagnetic ratio or gyromagnetic constant then you have to write otherwise no need to write okay i think all of you watch my channel and uh, if you like please share and subscribe as many as possible and uh, i will provide a write a, in description box some important points thank you have a good day